Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Orc Mech Gun. This set will set you back £30 and it's a multi-part plastic kit that makes one of four possible mech guns and has a six strong Grok crew. Uh, bubble chucker, smasher gun, tractor cannon or custom mega cannon. I'm not quite sure which one to go for yet and, um, and I would have preferred for them to only include three grots and possibly only make one out of two of the guns and reduce the price by half or even down to 20 pounds i think that would be an easier pill to swallow 30 pounds on a mech gun you know you're looking at 90 pounds for three if you wanted to wield three in your orc force i think that's a lot of money to um sink on uh, one of these models and i'm not quite sure on the magnetization options um, i think it's quite a limited kit but that's the whole point of these unboxings and reviews uh, to dive into these uh, sets uh, much more deeper and uh, have a detailed look here it is right here uh, let's unbox it straight away um, it's a thin box it says six miniatures on the front there it is you can see the uh, front there so one two three four five six grots and then this is one of the weapons we look on the reverse there uh, this is that's to scale and there are all the the other weapon options and a closer look at the uh, grots yeah I like the one with the binoculars there a little bit of a paint guide but uh, yeah, not not the best so let's uh, unbox this so two sprues yeah that's 15 pound per sprue you could look at it that way um, this is the instruction guide we'll have a quick look at that so you've got mech guns it says uh, choose the variant you want to build uh, custom mega cannon smasher gun bubble chucker or tractor cannon I'm leaning towards the mega cannon or the smasher gun those are the two I'm leaning towards I'm not that impressed with the bubble chucker or tractor cannon although they are quite fun to play I guess um, but uh, they teach you how to build the grots quite easily. There's five of them. And then uh, the chassis assembly. That's quite straightforward. You won't really have too many issues if you built orc vehicles before. This will be a doddle. And then you've got the main body. Uh, and then you've got a cannon body. And then you just build the different weapons on top of that. So the custom mega cannon, the bubble chucker, the smasher gun, or the tractor cannon. So they're all attached to the, the main uh, cannon body. And then you just slot this onto there. I think it's going to be difficult, very difficult, to magnetise all these pieces onto that body. So, um, yeah, it would have been nice, again, like I say, if uh, they had two versions of this kit, one with a custom mega cannon and the smasher gun, and maybe one with a bubble chucker and the tractor uh, cannon, um, or maybe a set with both the cannons in. Um, but yeah, as it stands, it's going to be very tr tricky to magnetise all of that and um, be able to use uh, and be able to hot swap uh, these main weapons. But they do look quite cool, don't they? Like little grot artillery pieces. Uh, and they would work well with the, the grot tanks from Forge World. Um, anyway, that's the instruction guide. These are the, the bases, tiny, tiny bases uh, there, very small. Um, I think they're 25 mil. They might even be a little bit less. Um, this is one of the sprues right here. So you've got the main cannon body, you've got some grots, uh, you've got a grot with some cabling, one with a uh, wrench, um, some more cabling and a platform, more platforms, um, some, some rails, more grips, part of the cannon. Uh, looks like a custom force field thing, but that's probably for the mega cannon. Uh, and then the bubble chucker, that's an interesting type uh, end to a weapon, isn't it? Looks like, like a rock or an asteroid type thing. Um, they've coloured it in that kind of... Uh, colour scheme too. You've got little faces for the grots and pointed uh, fingers. You've got grot holding a bit of cable in there as well and one with um, some pliers. So yeah, nice uh, nice sprue though. Um, quite jam-packed. And then this one as well. I, I guess that when they print these out, bump them, um, you know, manufacture them, they manufacture them in one print like, like so and then they split them 
pop them pop them in the box anyway this is the other sprue you get um which is the the chassis of the the cannon and the end of the uh mega cannon um you've got uh i think it looks like a, a rivet gun type of thing and then a drill um you've got adjustable wrench there another grot you've got the two front um wheels and more armor places and the the uh armor piece the armor panel uh, that uh, you know protects the, the gunner I guess you've got a nice computer panel there that could be kit bashed onto something I guess with the like the Tesla coil and the fan thing and the human interface uh, unit um, yeah looks uh, pretty good I like the grating and on there that's that's quite a nice effect um, it looks like a good kit I mean it's, it's slightly expensive at 30 but I think you sort of almost getting your money's worth. I I would prefer it if it was twenty or even twenty five. I think thirty is yeah, thirty is hard to uh, to explain. But how many of these are you really going to get? Two, maybe three. Uh, but they definitely needed them, and I'm glad that kind of Grot Gretchen get their own kits. I'd really like to see GW um, release some grot tanks though to go along with these artillery pieces i'm sure that that will be the focus i think they'll make bigger angrier orcs but i also think they'll invest in like a grot army so you can make just an army of of uh, grots because they seem to have been um, putting a lot of focus into grots as well uh, some of the single models anyway that is it for my unboxing of the orc mech gun what do you guys think have you got one before how do you equip yours uh, please do put it in the comments below and stay tuned to the channel where you'll be able to see the full review uh, coming up within October. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching for Gork and Walk.